what is the cost of SEO in Kenya? How much should you pay for search engine optimization in Kenya? That is one very important question I get every day. Some say, oh, you are so expensive. Oh, because that's taking too long. You should, should be paying that. No problem. But today, I want to take you through the cost of search engine optimization and what you are paying for. Before I tell you the cost, let me first tell you what are you paying for. Now, if you come to get sales, the first thing we'll do when you get your website, we have these 22 modules that we use to rank your website. It won't be fixed. It depends on the kind of website that you have. Most of the time, we'll go through this process in about three to six months. In very highly competitive areas, we can go to a year. Why does it take so long? There are so many things involved and I think by the end of this video, you'll understand what's really going on. Now, so in SEO, SEO is in two different areas. We have SEO on the page and SEO off the page. So the first phase is SEO on the page. Now, the first thing we do is we do keyword research. I've told you before, keyword research is the starting point of every kind of, of SEO practice that we use. Because we want to understand what, how are users searching online? Which keywords do they use? Yeah, and very short keywords are more competitive than longer keywords. Let me give you an example. Let's say we are, you are in the industry, we are in e-commerce. Charts. If you just have the word search, there's shirts for men. You see, this one is general, but the first listing here uh, is showing the locations. So this keyword has about uh I'm, I'm using this uh, keyword research tool called uber suggest by this guy neil patel it has a, a lot of ideas you can get here so here you can see the search volume and the cost per click and the and the and the, and the difficulty of each keyword so the longer most of the time the longer the keyword the more difficult is it to rank so the more competitive the, the more search volume it has the better it is but sometimes that search volume with high search volume it's very difficult to run so really have to understand what kind of keywords you are in so if your industry has high competitive keywords it will be more expensive because you'll need to do more because the work will let's say it will be three times more than a less competitive keyword now the next thing here we've got on page recommendations so we we'll look at the we'll do an audit of your website understand what kind of issues it has and fix those issues so and recommend others that you're going to implement then the next thing that you always do is we fix your google search console uh, google search console is our master tool from google it's a free tool that is used to diagnose your site and any issues related to that. So we'll go through your account. We will set it up if you haven't set it up. Make sure we check out the issues that are going through your site and fix them up. This may be easy or difficult depending on the kind of issues that your site is facing. Because if it is a new site, there may not be a lot of issues because it's just still new in the internet. If it's an old site, there could be a lot of issues, and maybe those are the issues making you not to rank on the first pages. Some of the issues could be maybe crawl errors, maybe redirect errors, maybe there's a malware, or maybe just some issues with some site links that are some have uh, issues or something like that. So in this case here, we'll need, uh, if you're using cPanel, we'll need the login of your cPanel and maybe a Google account login to implement this because this is a, a tool from Google. Yeah, but if you haven't set it up, it will be easy to set it up and wait for the data to propagate and fix those errors. 
Now, the next thing in uh, module four is we look at the Google My Business page. You know, Google My Business page is the local listing. For example, if we go to Get Sales. If I search Get Sales Kenya. This is my local listing here. You can see it's showing your location uh, and where you are. Your location is here. You see, it's named work. That's where I am. Our location is at the greenhouse mall. So all the information is right in there. Yeah, so we'll set this thing up because this is the one responsible for your map ranking. If you want to rank in the maps and if you're interested in maps, which is also very important, you need this this one set up so we'll set this up for you and optimize it because it will be very important in your seo strategy then the next thing here we've got rich snippet schema mockup okay no no the schema is just a language of the web it was created by these top search engines google Bing, and the rest they search together and said it has created one language that will be used uh, to understand the, the web, because you know, these scrollers are robots, they don't speak English, Swahili, or whatever. So, they have to set up one language that they are able to understand the codes that are populated every day in the internet. So, they came up with this language called in schema. Or if you want to know more, you can go to schema. Org. Org. yeah so here you'll get all the information you are, you want so they are just uh, different data types that were created for understanding the content that is created everywhere so how is this important so you know for serious rank highly such engines need to understand what is in that content and the easier it is for them to crawl and understand the content in the page the easier will it, is it for them to populate that page, index it, and give it to users when they need it. Understand? So, I'll show you an example. Why, uh, some people say, why don't we just assume all of this? Because anyway, Google is indexing and crawling your, your, your website. It has some advantages. Let's say a keyword like, I'll be using, I like using this so you can understand properly. Let's say a keyword like drop shipping. Let's say drop shipping in Kenya. If I set that, if I set that, you'll see this here. This is the first result, that's my, my website. It's ranking on the first page. Then you see these things here that are appearing here. These ones are schema markups. Those are schema markups. So it helps users understand more about the page. They don't need to go and click on it, but they'll understand more. And if you're in e-commerce, let's say a keyword like shirts for sale, you'll realize that let me just try to show you. You realize that some websites look better than others. I don't know if you've seen some writing. There's some sites with ratings. I think Google is trying to wipe them out. Has trying to wipe them out because people have been misusing these. But you, you've, I'm sure you have seen some stars appearing below some result. If you do some search result, those are schema markups, and for that one is for product ratings. So these markups, apart from helping search engines understand your pages better, they also help them help your results to stand out from competition. And this is very important in certain areas. I'm not going to show you everything, but you need these markups. Now, the other thing we are going to do. That is basically, uh, for those we've talked about was the first one, and we'll be talking about, about content on the page. 
ya yeah? SEO on page here it could be talking on page the SEO on page SEO that's what I'm we are talking about the things we do on your website then after doing all that now we've worked on the website there's some other things I've talked about like the internal linking and such kind of things yeah but they're still on page now after we've done all that now we go to off the page what we're gonna do in other parts of the internet that's phase two now about phase two this is a very important part because here we are building your authority online the more authoritative you are online the better it is for you and you'll rank highly because of this now the first phase can be done in a month or two but phase two is continuous process until we get the results we require. Even after getting after reaching the top of Google, you can't trust because there are other guys still doing the same thing to outrank you. So you need to continue. That's why we say SEO is continuous. And the benefits you'll reap from this are forever. Because we'll be ranking forever. Yeah. Until, do in, until even if there are other updates done, we always try to optimize for those future updates and make you remain there. Now, the sixth model here is manual blogger outreach. What are we doing here? The idea here in phase two, we are building backlinks. A backlink is a link from another site coming back to your site. Why do you need this? We need it so that we are, the internet is interlinked. So by linking to other websites, you are not an island. If you have no backlinks from other sites, you are like an island. Just imagine an island somewhere in the middle of the sea. No roads linking to it, no maps going to it. Even if the ships are sailing in the sea, they won't come to the island because there's no link going there. So unless there is a road taking them there, that's why people will visit. Or else just be an island in the internet. And no link is the same. This is not a democracy. No link is the same. You can have a few links which are very powerful and another person have thousands of links but you can still outrank them. So the idea of links is just getting links for the sake. You should have a strategy for that. That means you should link to websites related to your niche. That's how you gain relevance and authority. Because they assume if this website is on CCTV and they are linking to your website on CCTV, that means your website must be an authority in CCTV or have some value on CCTV. So what we're gonna do here in manual blogger outreach, we're gonna search for blogs related to your niche create content in there and link them back to your site. So the more authoritative the blog is, the more authority you'll get. So it's very difficult getting high quality blogs for this case. That was why you have to pay for this because we'll be sending uh, emails, requesting blog, and it takes time and energy to do this. Begging people, requesting them, because these are people that we don't know and they don't have to link to your site. So we really have to assure them why it's important to link to your site. Yeah, yeah. So let's go to the next phase. The next phase here is premium backlinks from, uh, let's say Forbes, BBC, New York Times, these are very highly authoritative sites. Getting backlinks from these sites, it's very difficult because the easiest way to get a backlink usually is through an article, an editorial. That means you must have something newsworthy. But for our case, what we do, we work with the webmasters who run or manage these sites to search for broken links, or other links that are, have some issues, we repair them and request them to link to us. And in this case, 
mostly will be getting is a redirection. So if there's a content on, let's say, CCTV guy and the page is broken, it's no longer there anymore, maybe it was there 20 years ago, we can create that content on your site and redirect and request them to redirect. Instead of sending users to a blank page, we ask them to redirect to your page, which is useful, which is very safe. Yeah, and authoritative, but it's difficult getting this because you are using you are working with the webmasters in this case. That's why you pay for it. Now, the next module here is high quality DA guest post. I also talked about. So we'll be creating content on very high authoritative sites like uh, IBM, Patch, Reddit.com. So we'll be getting high quality sites and doing that. Then also here we'll be doing private blog networks. Yeah. We have so many blogs that we control and manage websites. So we only get related sites in your niche and link up to them. The next thing here we'll be talking about is Fortune 500 backlinks, still the same high quality uh, backlinks from top companies like Amazon, getting those links and redirecting them. Another thing here we'll be talking about Tumblr PBNs, getting old blog posts that uh, were there from a while ago since the internet began. They have gained a lot of authority. We also create blogs there and link them up to you. Another thing is press release. So we'll create articles and pre and release them to premium media sites. Media sites are one of the most powerful sites in the world. So if you have something newsworthy, we'll create it and post in such kind of blogs, which also give you authority. The beauty about this module is that Will, will feature you in, in those media sites. Then you are able to use this on your blog and, and show them that I was featured in this media site and it will show you that you are an authority in your niche. It's a very powerful ways of showing that you are an authority in your niche. Yeah, another thing here we're gonna talk about here is Web 2.0s. Web 2.0s are just the social media sites. So we'll be creating uh, content in the social media sites and blog and blogs and we'll be linking them back to you. Another one is edu sites. Edu sites are uh, educational sites, yeah, at universities and other kinds of sites. Those ones are always trusted by Google and have high authority. Also, we'll be creating content in such kind of areas and linking them up to you. The next one here will be doc shares. We'll, be cre we'll create documents and optimize them. Uh, PDF, like we've, like we've seen the supposed for PDF guides in your niche. And we show we create a very wonderful post uh, uh, and a PDF, uh, which in the form of a PDF, and show you that you are the ex uh, the authority in your niche. Then we share these documents in all in many blog sharing sites, document sharing sites all over the internet, and we'll be having backlinks in there, and we'll be getting a lot of authority for such areas. The next thing is my bookmarks. We'll also be sharing the sites in bookmarking sites, also very high quality and uh, have a lot of authority. And another one is social signals here. You will be will be creating con. You will be sharing your content in social media pages. Then you'll be getting a lot of shares in there. The beauty about this thing is that if your site is seen to be having engagement on social media platforms, you'll be getting more trust from Google because Google will see you as a brand and Google loves brands. The, 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 the secret of succeeding in SEO online is being a big brand. How does Google know you're a big brand? By seeing your engagement on social media. So we'll be creating content that is newsworthy or can attract engagement and sharing it in social media pages and groups and making sure there is engagement around that topic and we'll be getting a lot of SEO juice from that. Now, module 19 here, we're talking about citation and maps. This module is mostly about your map listing. Yes, because here we'll be looking for making business listings all over the internet with your name, address and phone number. This is very critical for ranking on Google My Business. The ranking of Google My Business is a little different from ranking of your website, but 
if you rank properly in organic search, if your website is already ranking in organic, it will be easier for you to rank in Google My Business because the data is related and they'll be seeing you as an authority. So your local uh, listing will have good signals and it will rank better. Now the next word we'll hear, we're talking about Q&A. These are the Quora uh, question and answers uh, yeah, I just want to show you an example. We are using this dropshipping here. If you look at here, people are saying people also ask, does dropshipping work in Kenya? These are questions asked here. If you see here, these are these are website. I just want to see if we there are, we can get a Quora an answer here from Quora. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing one coming up, but I'm sure they are ranking somewhere here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it here. How to start drop shipping in Kenya. So you'll be getting this kind of questions from this kind of sites, and there are also other details from the same sites. Is there anyone drop shipping that is based in Kenya? Does drop shipping work if you're in Kenya? That kind of questions here. So you get these questions and we answer them. Uh, and we link up your site. That means you have to create that content first on your site, then link it up to the website. If a user uh, clicks the back link and goes back to the website, is able to find the answer that they need. This one will position you as an expert, as an authority in your field. Yes. So there are so many fora, not only fora. We'll be getting other niche related from all over the world. So for these, you'll be getting traffic from all over the world so all these models come up together whether you are doing local seo whether you are doing international seo we'll just strategize these all and make sure that we give you the results that you want now finally now before that we're in the 21st model will be doing photo sharing sites so if your content marketing strategy is about photos We'll make sure that we distribute your photos in photo sharing sites all over the internet and you'll be getting backlinks back to your site. Yes. Then the last thing here is second tier links. So we've been doing in this phase two just creating links. But now these links we've created, we should also create backlinks to them. Understand? So that we are able to build more authority to them. So the idea here will be creating backlinks and backlinks to them and getting them indexed by Google. The only way these links we are creating in this model will be helpful to you is if Google indexes them. Because if they index them, they will, they will rank on Google. If they rank on Google, they will get authority. If they get authority, you will be getting authority back to your site and also getting traffic back to your site, which is very important. You understand so this is why when we tell you this is the cost of seo this is what we're gonna do for you it's a lot of work it is not easy and it takes a lot of time so what you're paying for here you're paying for time and you're paying for effort seo you can do for free if you have the time but most of the time you don't have it so if you don't have that that is why you need seo experts like us who spend our time doing SEO. We, this is what we do, we wake up SEO, we sleep SEO, we dream SEO, we eat SEO, yeah. So this is what we charge, this is why we charge you for that. So I'll just show you the plans that we have here. So we have two plans, or rather, or rather the three for SEO. So in this case, you'll have to select the type of plan that suits you, it's not fixed. So we have the basic plan and the gold plan uh, and the custom project. This is whereby if you want us to do this and this and that or this and that, so we negotiate and we say it is. So for the basic plan, you'll be getting everything apart from Google My Business. We'll not do the maps. We'll not do the premium blogger outreach, which is very important. Now for the PBNs, we'll do like two. Yeah, then the press release, 
here will be releasing to medium and more sites but not powerful if you want the powerful sites that will really impact your site and show you as an authority the one will come in the gold budget package then now this is the cost this is what we charge we have a beginning of the basic we'll be charging 340 dollars or 9 dollars per month which is very fair if you if you want to pay on a monthly basis every month you pay us that as we do the projects for you or if you want to pay quarterly it's 945 it gets cheaper and if you want to pay half a year it's 1775 it gets cheaper than that so the longer you pay the cheaper it is but i told you seo is not a one type thing so the if you decide and realize that this is a long term pro, uh, long term process you pay a long term and you will get the best results because if you pay long term we'll treat you as a serious client and we'll strategize for the long term now for the gold package the it begins at 555 559 dollars if you want to pay you monthly if you pay quarterly it's 1550 it gets cheaper if you pay a half yearly it's 2895 so these are the costs for SEO that we have here in Kenya, but you can always have a custom quote depending on the projects that you have. So I think you've tried a little bit understood why we charge these prices. We don't want to just to tell you this is the cost, and you don't understand why we charge you this. Yeah. So thank you for learning with me, and we hope that you will subscribe to us and we we'll give you the best results ever.